Summoner's War version 839 update dev note. I'm two ways about this. On one hand, I'm like, ooh, an update, let's do a video. On the other hand, I'm like, ooh, this update has absolutely nothing to do with me and I do not get any value out of it personally at all because I can't do Siege. And by the way, yes, it's a Siege update. It weren't the past couple updates all say, like the filled with Siege stuff? These Siege changes and these Siege changes. was like, you know, because some, some players, some guilds really, really like Siege. So, uh, and I think actually Siege is doing better right now than RTA is doing. More people are excited about Siege. More people are engaging in Siege content than they are uh, doing RTA content. Not that RTA has taken a huge hit recently, it's just people are more... Comptos feels that they get more value from Siege. But yeah, I feel like there's going to be more than just this in this update. I don't think it's going to be just Siege stuff. At the very least, I feel like we'll get a transmog pack. I am really feel like there's going to be a transmog pack with this. I'm not sure what units. I have no predictions for that, but I feel like that's... We're going to see the Siege update. <laughs> siege update after Siege update after Siege update. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Quite amazing. I don't get any value out of this. But it's the game does not revolve around me, so it really has nothing to do with me. Uh, it's just sad, you know. I'm like, hey, an update. And and then my excitement dies down when I'm like, I can't get anything out of this. I can't play any part of this. So, uh, yeah. So we have a new battle research function. So basically, you have more opportunities to build decks, test decks out. You can even test decks out with monsters that you, you can test out up to 100 new decks, even with monsters that you don't actually own. Then you can ruin them up and you can see how they work and how they would hypothetically work. If you spent $100,000 on LD packs to get some of these LD units, could you make a crazy LD5 defense? Maybe that's the most, that could be the most exciting part about this entire update. You know what? This is a great update. Let's make some ridiculous LD5 decks. I'm kind of feeling a different way about this update. Now, see, I got myself hyped up about it. It took a second. It took a second. But, um, yeah, so what is guild battle? So, uh, what did they say? Guild battle research, battlefield change, uh, and then battle time change for monsters subjugation. The big giant slime monster is going to be 24 hours now instead of 12. Guild battle research, uh, guild's exclusive feature where you can run test battles in environments similar to an actual battle, allowing to, to study and discuss various decks with guild members. Experiment freely. Uh, build and test defense and offense decks using monsters you don't own. See how your dream decks perform in practice. LD5 whale decks. That's exactly what you're going to say. Everyone's going to test it out. You know they will. Uh, no ruin artifact removal costs because it's just testing it out. Store up to 100 defense decks. Enabling extensive strategy testing and refinement. Some people are going to get it. Some people are just going to quit their jobs. They're going to be like, I am only focused on running my, um, running my guild and performing most efficiently in siege oh, man. the p poor guild leaders all these siege updates all these guild content updates there's like oh god not more no more. i gotta they're at the point i don't know how many guild leaders quit their job if you're a guild leader and you quit your job <laughs> let me know in the comments i don't know why do i feel like that's that's the approach to it they're like i this is going to take way too much time. I can't do this and work. I must sell my children. I don't know. I don't know how you guys are coping with this. It's ridiculous. Uh, anyway, share research and feedback. Conduct battle research to leave up to 20 replays and comments per defense deck. Fostering in-depth discussion improvement within your guild. I feel, again, I feel like the, you know, high-level guilds are going to be testing and efficiency. And they're going to have, like... Uh, scrum meetings <laughs> for, for guilds. Con you guys already do that. I swear. I swear. I bet you do that. I bet the guilds, high level guilds, do like this. <laughs> they got the con bonds and everything. Okay. Um, but everyone else, all the casual players, like, oh, I'll, I'll just make some LD5 decks. I'll make all the decks are going to be LD5s. I'll put my runes on them. Oh, they're still doo doo because I have doo doo runes. Got it. But at least my, my defense decks got some LD5s in them. Um, yeah, guild battle research. It's its own little tab here. You can build a ton of decks. Yada yada. We already explained all of this though. Register defense decks, but it's not real. Like you can't actually use this in real siege. It's just for testing purposes. So place monsters in defense placement screen. It's like monsters, the biggest thing. Place monsters you don't own. So that, I think that's the most fun part about it. Uh, Add a monster to be six hundred monsters with max level and max skills, but you do still have to ruin them. Monsters, you're like it's not that hard to build this <laughs> this crazy deck. You would need a savannah. That's about it. Everything else is easy to get. Uh, a savannah, and you also do need runes. 
I, that's the that's the hardest part. The savannah is slightly easier than the runes. Register the defense deck, and then you can test it out, etc., 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 which we all already talked about. So, and then you can share to the guild. But really, I mean, testing like you don't get a whole lot of strategy, uh, a lot of value out of that if you're testing out. You're like, oh, guys, if we only had all of these LD5, <laughs> like, I mean, you want to, for me, the most value comes from testing things that you guys do have and then seeing what performs the best. It, it, this is not bad. This is, you know, all improvements. I'm not saying these aren't quality of life improvements. I'm just a little bummed that I don't get to uh, get a whole lot of value out of this, aside from testing out LD5 decks. And, and I will do that. I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, don't get me wrong. We're, we're, we're absolutely going to do that. Um, so maybe this is going to be the thing that I actually do get a chance to play in Siege. Because I can't play it due to my schedule. Uh, maybe I will finally get a chance to play some Siege. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, same thing. New Battlefield. Siege Battle has undergone newer changes since its initial update in 2017. Including the addition of the Siege Battle Tournament special rules and the Punisher Grade. The Battle uh, Battleground, one of the most essential parts of Siege Battle, will be changed until the next season and the biggest change is this uh base number four which effectively connects everything so people not uh, not too happy about the fact that that siege uh that tower number four is right in the middle of everything we'll see i mean i'm i'm <clears throat> i was almost gonna say something stupid i'm sure comp to us tested this out thoroughly I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they did. Uh, <laughs> just many portions of the current battlefield have changed. Who knows? Who knows? The number of bases adjacent to opposing guilds has increased from five to seven. We predict more intense fights to break out as more bases face opposing guilds. I feel like this is going to be an issue where they're like, we got to roll this back. We didn't quite test this out. Do we want to predict that that's going to be the situation? <laughs> The base in the center connected to both eight, uh, HQ and several frontline bases is connected to six bases of your guild. In other words, the central base may as well be the most vital base for your guild. Why not make that the HQ then? Well, because then there would be no reason to do this, to attack this base then. Uh, so that answers that question. Because of this modification to the battleground, we expect to see new methods and tactics that differ from those used in the current siege battle. We hope that the addition of the guild level research feature, as well as the modification to the battlefield, bring new... <clears throat> as well as the modifications to the battlefield will bring new challenges and vigor to battle. I just, I talk so fast that I mumble and I don't know what I'm saying. You guys probably don't know what I'm saying either. You're like, I wasn't even, I wasn't even listening. I just had the video on. I had the video on and I'm watching SpongeBob in the background. I hear some guy yapping about Summoner's War. Uh, yeah, so this uh, monster subjugation changes to 24 hours in total 12 hours for each uh 12 hours each for first round and second round we receive feedback from summoners unable to engage in currently current monster subjugation due to short duration i mean you could say the same thing about siege as well uh will take place uh take effect from the monster subjugation taking place the week after the update we're currently working on 839 to be released on july 12th based on this timeline monster subjugation that begins after july 15th will have each round lasting 24 hours so uh yeah we anticipate the monsters will be able to uh we anticipate that more summoners oh my god will be able to engage in the monster subjugation which will now last for a total of 48 hours that's all for today guaranteed they're gonna have transmogs Guaranteed transmogs are coming along with this and they're getting bikinis. It's the summer. More bikinis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bikini time <laughs> coming in a couple days. I will say it's never ending bikinis. Zara, bikini Zaras, come to us. You have one chance. 10 years. It's time. Bikini Zaras is time. See you as always in the next one.